My name is Kayla Murphy, and my mini presentation is on the Rosenstrasse protest. What was it? This was a nonviolent protest in the freezing cold for non-Jewish Germans that were married to Jewish people and or had Jewish sons. The non-Jewish people were trying to protect their Jewish sons and spouses from getting deported. This protest was held at the community center because that was the building where the German police were holding the incarcerated Jews. In this picture, there are memorial statues of the brave women that stood up for their family and had a successful protest. When and where was it? This protest happened between February 27th and March 6th in 1943. The protest was held in Berlin, Germany. The protest took place during the war against the Allies and the war against the Jews of Europe. These were both two turning points during the Nazi Germany war. The 2000 Jews that were taken from their homes and from the Rosenstrasse Community Center. So outside of the same community center is where the non-Jewish people decided to hold the protest. Background. German police incarcerated around 2,000 Jews. The Jews that were incarcerated were mostly Jewish men that were married to non-Jewish partners and male children of these marriages. These events were part of the final action during the Holocaust. The final action was when the Nazis were trying to round up the rest of the Jews in Berlin and kill them. Why did the protest happen? The non-Jewish people believed that their family members were going to be deported east. They thought this because they knew of, pre of previous groups of around 7,000 Jews were incarcerated in Berlin and they were sent east. So to try and prevent their family members from getting deported, they went to the Jewish Community Center during the protest. During the protest, the women would question and complain to the guards about where their husbands were. On the first day, around 600 to 1,000 people showed up for the protest. The wives would stand together, hold hands, and they would shout, let our husbands go, we want our husbands back, and give us our sons back. After, after several days of the protest and the many threats that the women were receiving from the guards, they did not back down, and in the end, the Nazi re regime retreated and let the Jews out of the community center. Sources. These are my sources for the information, and these are the websites where I got my photos.